to make a noodles. Quit. Don't quit. Noodles. Don't noodles. You are too concerned with what was and what will be. Is a saying. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. But today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Have you ever seen this movie? Yeah. So what is the movie name? Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, Kung Fu Panda. Okay. So then, this is the line of Master Wu Wei. Have you ever thought about this line? Not seriously. Okay, let's think about it. Which is the most important time? Past, present, or future? Present, yeah. Many people think present is the most important time. I was one of them. But now, I have a little bit different view. So I will share my view through business story. Yesterday is tomorrow. It's my title. It sounds really strange, right? <laughs> it's really strange. It means Something that happened in the past could be repeated in the future. I can see a pretty woman tomorrow who I two eyes yesterday. I can pick up twenty dollars on the street yesterday and tomorrow again. And I can make same mistakes tomorrow which I made yesterday. Yes, past can become future. There are two types of past. One is good past, the other is bad past. So what is the good past? What is your good past? That I came to Toronto. Ah, uh, <laughs> me too. Yeah, it's really good past, great past. And I'm still here. Oh, uh, yeah, it's really great past. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I agree with you. Yeah. In case of me, when, when I got perfect score, I was really happy. It's obviously my good past. What is the bad past? Let's see this picture. Probably they don't want to record it. <laughs> Usually when we make mistakes, it would be bad past. Right? But people try to skip and forget their mistakes. They rationalize their mistakes by themselves. But if there are big mistakes, we should focus even more on them. Because as the saying goes, past will become future. Yeah. And most big mistakes are caused from small mistakes, like a butterfly effect. That's why we should be concerned about collecting our mistakes to prevent them from happening again. Yeah. This book, Will Your Next Mistakes Be Fatal, said, avoiding the chain of mistakes that can destroy your organization. Right. Here is the story. Walmart. When you think about Walmart, which word can you imagine? Sorry? Korean mart? No. <laughs> <laughs> Which word can you imagine? No idea. <laughs> chip. Yeah, chip. Which idea can you imagine? Which word can you imagine? I'm very successful. Yes. When I think about Walmart, I can imagine this word. Success. This picture shows the number of branches of Walmart in USA. Yes, they have succeeded. Have you ever heard their fail story? Yeah. Where they failed? In Korea. Yes. They failed in Korea. There are some reasons, but I choose some of them. First, 
failure is giant. Okay. Let's just see this picture. Let's just see the loop. How was it? Yes. Not kawaii. Not kawaii. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's totally not kawaii. Yeah? It is not kawaii. <laughs> it looks like factory or warehouse construction. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you see? Yeah. How about this one? These pictures were taken in the Korean mart, e-mart, the rival company of Walmart. It's much better, yeah. The atmosphere is totally different. So if I were a customer, I will prefer this mart. Yeah. Second, when I visit Walmart in Canada, I get shot because they displays many kinds of item, right? But in Korea, when I visit Walmart in Korea, they only display grocery. It's like a grocery store, like no fears. But in Emart, in case of Emart, they has not only grocery section, but also food court, clothes section, electronics, bag, wallet, even culture center. We can learn swimming, singing, dancing, painting, dance sports, and so on. Yeah. When EMAT focus on providing high quality service, Walmart focused on increasing the number of branches. And they made the same mistakes to their new branch. They use the same interior, they display the same kinds of items. That's why the number of branch was increased, but at the same time, financial loss was increased too. And finally, they withdrew from Korean mark from Korea at 2006. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Sony story. Yeah. Do you know this one? Have you yeah. ever seen this one? What is that? Walkman. Walkman. Who answered? It means you're not a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a teenager. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Walkman was a big hit. Right? Yeah, Walkman was a big hit. But someday, MP3 came to market. Right? MP3 came to market. Customer prefer MP3 than uh, Walkman. Because uh, what, uh, MP, MP3 is more like a smaller and more light. Most of all, most of all we don't need to download. Uh, we don't need to see, buy CD. We can download music. We can listen music after download. Right? But Sony made mistakes. They didn't catch change of market, and they didn't catch customer demand. How about this one? What is that? PlayStation 3. 3, <laughs> yeah. PlayStation 3, yeah. Who answered this is PlayStation 3? You? Yeah. It means you're not elderly people, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's good for you. Yeah, it's good for you. Yeah, we can play really great 3D game by PlayStation 3. But customer won't play game with girlfriend, boyfriend, sister, brother, mother, father, I don't know. Yeah. They want to play easy and simple game. At that time, Nintendo Wii came to market. It's great mm -hmm. timing. Yeah. PlayStation 3 made the same mistake. They didn't catch customer demand. They also they didn't catch change of market. So they lose competition with Nintendo Wii. Now, Walmart and Sony have something in common. Did you catch it? Did you catch it? <laughs> no. It is, they made the same mistake 
they repeated their mistakes because they don't reflect on the past. Right. Now, everyone already to reflect on our mistakes? Yeah? No? Yeah, yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but how can we handle our mistakes to avoid repeating it? Here are some solutions. First, don't be afraid of making mistakes. I think everyone knows this one. But how many people do like this? How many people don't be afraid of making mistakes? Yeah. But as the saying goes, the man who makes no mistakes does not usually make anything. It means if you make mistakes, you already make something. Even though the result was bad, you can learn something from your mistakes. So our biggest mistake is being afraid of mistakes, making mistakes. Second, show mistakes. Have you ever heard Hitachi? Hitachi? Hitachi is the electronics company, right? Are you using Hitachi's product? Yeah, my computer. Ah, my computer. Is it working very well or is it, <laughs> will it often be broken? <laughs> It's okay? It's okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> because they have special report. It is mistake report. Kumeo Baba, who is advisor of Hitachi, asked employees to like, report every mistake, even though it is very, very small things. But they never punish employees. Rather, if the mistakes help to grow company, they award the price. That's why every employee didn't, didn't hide their mistakes, they show their mistakes, so they can product high quality electronics like your computer and with low error rate. Now they become the second biggest electronics company in the world. Third, share mistakes. In case of Samsung SDS, they operate really with really interesting website. It is Arizem. Arizem. Every employee can upload their mistakes story and also they can read others' mistakes story. Yeah. But I want to ask you, if you make mistakes, do you want to upload your mistake story? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah. But if the company gives you money, how will you do? I yes, or think about I will do it. I'm perfect. Yeah. Uh, when, when they upload their mistakes, they can get 10 points. And at this point, could be changed to money at the end of the year. So as you can see, 3,000 cases are uploaded per month. They use this site a lot. So that's why they can know their mistakes clearly, and they can avoid their uh, mis making mistakes which are made by others due to sharing mistakes. Yeah. Last, manualize mistakes. 512 pages is the related with the McDonald's cheeseburger. There are 512 pages. But out of 512 pages, only 13 pages are recipe. The last four pages is report of mistakes, which are made in all franchises in the world. They manualize their mistakes, and they educate new employees by this manual. And this manual is being used at this university as a textbook. <laughs> <laughs> it is real university. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I've told you, uh, up till now I've told you the importance of looking back our past. But please distinguish between having a fixation on the past and reflecting on the past. People who reflect, the, uh, people who are who are fixated on the past, will live in the past.
They can see their past clearly. They can correct their mistakes. But people who reflect on the past will go on to a bright future. They can their past clearly, and they can correct their mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> they can correct. People who, people who reflect on the past will go on to a bright future, and their lives will be a journey of voyage and adventure. But they will need something to find their way. Yeah. It is compass, compass. Right. Everyone already has compass. It is your past. Use your compass and enjoy your adventure. People who don't reflect on the past will not be able to see the future. 